In this video, we will learn how to do Vidya Amrit Mahotsav project on Deeksha app. To access the project, step one is to make sure you have Deeksha app downloaded on your phone. You are logged in on Deeksha and you are on the home page. Second step is to update your profile. Go to the profile page by clicking on the profile icon in the bottom right corner of the app. On this screen, click on the edit button to update your profile. In the role, select teacher if you are a teacher. Select your state, your district, your block and the name of your school. Then click on submit. To select your board, click on the second edit option. Select your board, your medium, your class and your subject. And then click on save. If you are a headmaster, head teacher or principal, then select your role as HDN officials. Then select your state. Next option is sub role. Click on sub role and from the given list, select your designation in your school. That is HD if you are a head teacher or HM if you are a headmaster. Then select your district, your block and the name of your school and click on submit. Third step is to access the project. If you are a teacher, take the following steps. Go to home page, click on the burger menu in the top left corner of the screen, select try new Deeksha experience. After selecting that, home page will appear. You will see project tile on your screen. Click on the project tile. In the road assigned to me, select the project assigned to you for Vidya Amrit Mahotsav in your state. Click on start improvement to start the project. If you have chosen HTN officials, take the following steps to access your project. Go to home page. Click on the project tile. Click on the Vidya Amrit Mahotsav project for your state under Assigned to Me section. Click on Start Improvement to start your project. You will now be able to see Vidya Amrit Mahotsav project. The project includes a project title on top, project objective and a learning resource in the project details. You can access the learning resource to see how to edit the project title objective and tasks and how to add tasks in your project on Deeksha. Task details include two tasks. There are also learning resources in task one which you can see by clicking on view resources. Task one is about learning resources whereas task two is where you will add your action steps for the project. Before you start documenting your project, you can go and read all the learning resources to understand the theme of Vidya Amrit Mahotsav. Click on the View Resources button on Task 1. This will show you two learning resources. One is a video on innovative pedagogy and second is a guide on how to document your innovative pedagogy project. Click on the learning resource you want to read or watch. A new screen will appear. You will see a play button. Click on it to watch or read the learning resource. Once you have read the resource, click on the exit button that appears. After this, click on the back arrow to go back to the resources list. You can follow the same steps to read the other resource. Once you are done with both the resources, you can click on the back arrow again. For doing the Vidya Amrit Mahotsav project, you are required to edit the project title and objective. Click on the edit icon below the project title and then click on the blue icon at the top right corner to edit the title and objective. Edit the instruction part and add the title of the innovation project you want to document. For example, 
if your innovation project is read aloud activity then your project title will look like wam underscore synopsis underscore read aloud here you are required to edit the text and add the challenge you solved through this innovation project continuing with the same example i will put the objective of the read aloud activity here Click on save edits to save the changes you made to the project title and objective. Click on task details to access the tasks. Since you have viewed the learning resources in task 1, now you can click on task 1 and select the status as completed. Once you mark the task complete, a green icon will appear against the task number. Please note that you have to mark every task as complete. From task 2, you can start adding the action steps you have taken to implement your innovative pedagogy project. Here, you are required to edit the text in task 2 by clicking on the blue icon beside the task and add the first action step you have taken to innovatively solve for your challenge. For example, I will add the first action step for the read aloud project. Then click on save. You can also upload pictures or files as evidence by clicking on add files. Check the tick box that appears and click on upload. On this page you can add your remarks if any and select files from gallery or file manager and upload them by clicking on attach files. Post that, select the status of task as completed. To add subsequent action steps, you are required to add more tasks. For that, click on add your own task. Add your next action step under task description. For example, I will put the next step for the read aloud activity. Select status of your task as completed. You may add images or files by clicking on attach files. Click on add task to add a new task to your project. As you work on the tasks of the project, you will see the project progress. Click on sync after you have completed each task. Once you add all the tasks and mark them complete, your project status shows completed with a green bar and the Submit Improvement button is enabled. Click on Submit Improvement. On this page, attach your Vidya Amrit Mahotsav journey video by selecting it from Gallery or Files. You'll see Attach Successfully notification appear at the top of the app. Post that, click on Submit Improvement. After you click on Submit, you will not be able to make any changes to the project. You will see a congratulatory message appear in the green box once you have submitted your project. We wish you all the very best for Vidya Amrit Mahotsav project.